What's going on? Move the mouse here back in Google Earth. So before we hop into City Skylines, I wanted to get some inspiration for my next build on PC. And I was thinking of the town of Portsmouth, New Hampshire, which is a seacoast town uh, on the border of New Hampshire and Maine. And it's got a pretty interesting layout. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere when you look at it from a satellite view. There's definitely, you know, a nice concentration of a downtown area. Uh, but then it's really sparsely populated kind of outside of that. You can kind of see where, you know, the population centers are around some of the main roads in the area. But I thought this would be a really fun build to kind of take some inspiration from. Not do a one-to-one -one build, but uh, but just kind of, again, get, get inspired by it. And, you know, we could do something like an airport and a downtown area. And I thought it would just be a ton of fun. So how do we build this in cities? Well, we could try and build our own map from scratch. Uh, but there's a way we can kind of cheat the system, and that is with Terrain Party. So if you go to terrain.party, yes, that is the domain, um, what we can do is we can go to a spot on the map and actually export the terrain. And you may notice a familiar pattern of uh, grid, and this is exactly the same size the grid's going to be in city skylines. So I've kind of centered this here on the Bay Area so that we've got a decent amount of seacoast. We've got, you know, areas surrounding all the way around. Once we're happy with the spot that we have, we can hit the little down arrow with the cloud and export the height map. So this will give us five different height maps. And these are built off of a couple different public surveys. So uh, the first one is a public survey of the elevation of Earth. The SRTM is the shuttle radar topography mission. The SRTM 30 plus is kind of a very rough outline of the area. And then the national elevation data set is provided by US Geological Survey. Now the one that I used in the building of this map today that we're looking at is going to be the merged map. And this is a mix of three different height elevation maps. So essentially what we get is a file like this. And you can see that the, the darkest areas are the lowest elevation, the lightest areas are the highest elevation. Now you could take this into something like Photoshop if you wanted to adjust the contrast and curves so that it was either a little bit smoother, a little bit more jagged, whatever you're going for. I'm just gonna take the default merged version here though and import that into cities. So let's jump into the game and go do that. So once we're in the game, we can go into editors from the main menu, map editor and new. Now the first thing we have to decide is what kind of theme that we want. The theme will change the overall color palette as well as the building style by default on the map. So keep that in mind, but you can always override those. Once we get into a new map, we're gonna be presented with a completely flat piece of land. And you'll notice that the same squares that we saw in the terrain party, we can see here. We can go into the import height map and we'll choose the Portsmouth map here. Now, if you haven't already imported it, there's a little folder in the bottom of that interface where you can point it to the directory where those images are stored. Once we've imported it, you can see immediately that that seacoast area that was the deepest black, the, the depths basically, um, has been dropped down to zero elevation all the way down to the bottom of the map. And as soon as we hit play, it's gonna allow the water to flow in from the outsides of the map and start to fill in those gaps where the water should be. Now, the merged map in this case, especially with a seacoast area like this, has some really rough jagged edges. So you're gonna wanna use the terrain tool, especially to smooth things out. Um, and that's exactly what I do here, is I grab uh, the smoothing brush and I'm gonna go ahead and basically just run all along the coastline, fixing some of the jagged edges, fixing some of those areas that, you know, water should be running through, but the elevation is just not quite right. Just to kind of, again, round out and smooth out some of those edges where uh, I'd like the water to kind of flow inland a little bit. And don't worry about water that overflows um, into your map. You can adjust the overall height of the water, but basically um, that should settle down and, uh, and it will eventually just stay where the water is supposed to be. That is, unless your terrain is actually below sea level for whatever reason, um, again, you can adjust the height of uh, the ocean in your map. But I'm gonna run the uh, the smoothing tool pretty much around every coastal edge in this map and just uh, kind of round things out a bit along the, uh, the seacoast walls. But that is kind of stage one of our map creation was, you know, getting inspiration, thinking of an area that we wanted to build. 
exporting that height map from terrain.party and then importing that into city skylines. Now I'm gonna break this up into a couple different parts because this is very involved. And in fact, this process of kind of smoothing out the coastline took me almost an hour. So I won't show you all the footage there because literally what I'm doing is just kind of running the smoothing tool around, fixing some, uh, some pockets of what should be water uh, that I'd like connected to the ocean that weren't quite connected because of some terrain shifts. But basically with terrain.party, you can take inspiration from anywhere in the world. And, and I'm gonna borrow the landscape from Portsmouth and we're gonna copy some of the highways in the next video that will build into the base of the map so that anytime you start up a new game with this map, it's gonna have that highway structure kind of built in there. But that's kind of where we want the inspiration to end. We'll drop maybe a couple main monuments. We'll drop the airport in and you know, a downtown strip. But for the most part, I really want it to be free flowing, kind of be its own creation. So although we are taking inspiration from the city of Portsmouth, uh, we're really gonna kind of let it be its own thing, its own entity. But that's the basics of what we're doing to get started here. We've decided on an area, we've exported that height map, we've imported it into cities, and then we're just gonna go and smooth out some of the rough edges. Stay tuned in the next part, we're gonna start building some highway infrastructure into the map. We'll drop in some resources in the form of farmland, forestry, ore, and oil. And then we'll make sure all of our outside connections are in place so that we can get connected to the outside world, get people in and out of our map. And once all that's done, we'll go ahead and start a Let's Play. And this one I wanna start out with no unlimited cheats or anything like that. We're still gonna build this town the way that it was meant to be played. And that's all part of building a really successful map is setting it up so that a creative player can play just as easily as somebody playing without mods that just wants to download your map and, and check out that area. So hopefully you enjoyed this. This is a little different from my, uh, my normal video, but uh, I wanted to kind of take you on this creative process of building up the map of Portsmouth before we actually build up the city of Portsmouth inside City Skyline. So if you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments down below and also likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe and consider hitting the bell to get notifications for updates in this and other series. Follow me on Twitter and join the Discord to get involved in the discussion. But until the next one, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.